Hi everyone, welcome to Rudy's Jazz Room, coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. We're really proud to be a part of the Music City Bandwidth concert series, made possible by our friends at Jack Daniels. We're here to bring you a little taste of Music City wherever you may be this evening. Like so many other cities, Nashville and its musicians and music venues have been hit hard over the past six months. So tonight we're working to keep our independent music venues alive and hoping you'll come visit us again soon when it's safe to travel. We are thrilled to come together with our fellow indie venues around town to create this series. Please consider supporting Nashville's independent venues and check out the schedule for all the shows at musiccitybandwidth.com. Adam and I opened Rudy's Jazz Room in 2017, and while we're still fairly new in town, we're proud to be recognized as one of the top jazz venues nationwide, and we've enjoyed so much community support and appreciation from our musicians, neighbors, and visitors from all over. Rudy's brings listeners a truly unique mix of jazz in various forms in an intimate setting here in Nashville. Normally, we do so seven nights a week, and we serve up New Orleans-style craft cocktails and food. When we reopen, we can't wait to see everyone back again. And now, please enjoy the show as we bring you the Wooten Brothers from the stage live here at Rudy's Jazz Room.
song back in the early 70s, I think. No, yeah. was it 80s? 70s? How old were you at the time? I'm old now, so that's why I don't remember. <laughs> it was the 70s. 78. 78, so yeah. mid to late 70s we recorded that Still song. Still in high school. When we were young. Well, you, weren't, you weren't, I was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Long time ago. That was uh, what, no, that was what we like what to do. What we like, what to, we do. like to do. Yeah, we had our brother Rudy on saxophone. Speaking of Rudy's, yeah. right. our brother Rudy played saxophone. Yeah. That was something where we, we recorded that song. Uh-huh. We got to put that out one day. It's so funny that have we have to re-release it. Re- re- yeah, we yeah. just we ju- well we never well, we just got it. it. Never released it. Just got we it. We never released that one. That one just showed up. We have to tell that story sometime. Sometime. <laughs> sometime. That story, but it just showed up. Literally, a guy on Facebook had a had a cassette Not of a recording. Guy, he was, yeah, it wasn't yeah. just any guy. Don Kirshner's rock concert and all. That's a whole nother story. Back in the day. But we just got the recording of that we we did back in the '70s. So we're gonna. Yeah, uh, relearn the rest of that. Yeah, we kind of learned that one. Yeah. Hadn't played that one since the seventies. Right, it's been nice. a long time. What was what? Uh, the, let's see, what, the first song we played. What was that? That was a song called Consuela Smiles. Who's Consuela? Consuela is uh, uh, one of my first piano teachers. Taught me some voicings and taught me, turned me from just a piano player to a musician. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh-huh. and um, yeah, she's Spike Lee's aunt. Spike Lee, the, Spike Lee, the, Spike film, Lee the, the film director. Yeah, 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 nice. Spike Lee's, and I was able to to take some piano lessons from her when I was in high school, yeah. and uh, Reggie, Roy, and Rudy were in college, so I had some college instruction from her. when I was yeah, in high was, school. She was teaching them in college. She was teaching them in college, yeah. and she was kind enough to teach me when I was still in high school. All right, Spike Lee's aunt, Spike Lee's dad, Bill Lee, is a wonderful bassist, yeah. great jazz bassist. So yeah, Bill Lee's sister, Spike's aunt. Was teaching in Virginia. Those Lees yeah. are a musical family too. The descendants of Mike and Phoebe. Oh yeah. Right? I believe that was. Uh, yeah. I believe that was their their nice. band name. But nice. Yeah. Good Very song. cool. It's good to be back here at Rudy's. Got the four of us. Kind of feel like Rudy's a part of this. Yeah, <laughs> he is a he is a part of it. Uh, that's yeah. his, that's his saxophone right back there on the wall. That's right. And uh, we're fortunate enough to play at this venue named after our middle brother. Yes. Rudy Lovell, he was so loving, love was in his middle name. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a fitting tribute to Rudy, and uh, we're going to try to tribute him some more with music, because I'm sure if, uh, if he were to pick a, a tribute to him, he would pick some place where we could play music and more people would smile. So Absolutely. we're going to play some more music at Rudy's Jazz Room in the greatest city in the world, Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee. All right, we're going to do something different here. There's a song for you called Liz and Opie. Who wrote this song? Who wrote this song? <laughs> well, you know, I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> my, brother, my younger brother, Victor, wrote this song a yeah. long time ago. I got to play, yeah, we're, yeah, I you, got to play an acoustic guitar. You on played song. acoustic guitar on the original. On the original, yeah. And um, I ended up recording it again with a trio on a, rec- a record called Tripnotics. Featuring Dennis Chambers on drums, Bob right. Franceschini on sax, mm-hmm. who shares Joseph's birthday and That's Joseph's right. birth right. year with Bob right. Franceschini. <laughs> um, so we did a, a, di- a different version. The original yeah. version was a song that I wrote for Taylor Guitars, and I'm going to let you try to figure out the relationship between Taylor Guitars and the song, the name title. Right. So think about it. This song was done for Taylor Guitar, a compilation CD from Taylor Guitars, 
and the name of the song is Liz and Opie.
Just like the record. Just like the record. Yeah. Hey, before we, before we do this next one, uh, we want to thank the viewers from across the country and around the world for watching and supporting Nashville's independent venues and musicians. It's good to be playing live. Uh, and it's even better when we have uh, listeners and viewers. So we want to thank you. Uh, we want to let you know that donations can be made by clicking on the donation the little donation uh, information at the bottom of your screen, because uh, you know we love playing music, but business comes after music, music and business, and it's hard to make business without money. So we thank you for that. Uh, and uh, we want to thank also the Music Venue Alliance of Nashville. All of the venues, the, the small venues and the large venues in Nashville came together uh, to help each other survive. So the venues were doing, are doing what the people should be doing. The venues themselves came together. The venues came together. Nice. Came together. Uh, the Music Venue Alliance of Nashville came together uh, trying to find a way to survive. They leaned on each other. The venues are doing nice. what the people should be doing. And uh, we'd also like to thank the Nashville Convention and Visitor Center for uh, helping sponsor. We'd like to thank the city of Nashville for helping try to keep the music alive, but most of all, we want to thank the people because uh, everything starts with people. Cities, towns, venues, alliances all start and end with people. Where the people go right, the organizations go right. right. And so there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of venues here that, that aren't just downtown on the Strip. There's a lot of good, good Good places downtown on Broadway. Yes. But, but there's other places, too. There's other places besides, besides uh, Rudy's Jazz Room. So uh, come back to Nashville and see why we're called Music City. There's only one music city in the world, and this is it. The, I can say it's the greatest city in the world. I say it with my whole heart. I believe it. Greatest yeah. city in the world, Nashville, Tennessee, in the greatest venue of the world, named after the greatest brother in the world, Rudy, Rudy. Lovell Wooten. Fitting tribute. Yeah. Hey, let's go back to a Flectones time. Oh, See if everybody remembers this one. Yeah, I'll kick it off. Bela Fleck oh, yeah. and the Flectones? Bela Fleck and the Flectones. Hey. Right here in Nashville. Yeah, let me right see. Right here it. in Nashville.
do this little bit that I wrote, that I wrote with Rudy in mind. There's 
some people can't go on And some people call it quits And where freedom is not the word you find on earth is hell You know that one man saved the world And he's in your heart as well Cause everybody's waiting for the hero When the hero is in everyone Cause everybody's waiting for the hero Sleeping on the street Because he has no place to live A millionaire is eating meat How come we're not more sensitive And where abundance is for the few And that's where the hunger lies Responsibility rests on you your hand up to the sky Cause everybody's waiting for the hero When the hero is in everyone Cause everybody's waiting for the hero When the hero is in everyone Help me out y'all Cause everybody's waiting for the hero When the hero is in everyone Everybody's waiting for the hero But the hero is in everyone get up and do my thing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I want to get into it, man, you know. Yeah. Like a sex machine. Yeah. Moving. Yeah. Grooving. Yeah. Doing it. Doing it. Can I count it off? Count it off. Can I get in a whole lot of things? I want to count it off, Jack. 
Roy, can I count it off? Future Man, can I count it off? Red Jack, can I count it off? Key Jack, can I count it off? Victor, 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 can I count it off? Count, brother, count, count. Can I count it off? Can I count it off? Count basic. One, two, three, four. Phone. Just stay on the scene like a sex machine. I said, You got to have the feeling. I better show you phone. I said, Get it together. I ran on. I give it a 
Nashville, Tennessee, the greatest city in the world. Uh, at the greatest jazz club in the world. At the greatest <laughs> jazz club in the world. Named after the greatest brother in the world. Hey, you said judge. You said judge. Judge. <laughs> judge Joe Brown. Yeah,
John Coltrane, written by Bill Lee, Spike Lee's dad. Hey, we want to thank everyone for listening. We want to thank Rudy's for having us here. And we definitely thank Rudy and everyone, Adam and everyone involved, for naming it after our brother, Rudy. I know Rudy is somewhere smiling. I can feel it. That's right. That's right. And um, yeah, big brother teacher right here, Reggie. And yes. Yes. On the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. And over there on the drums, that's my other big brother, Roy, a.k.a. Future Man Wooten is on the drums, y'all. Right. That's right. And they're all my big brothers. This is my big brother on the keyboards, Explosive Joseph, the Hands of Soul. Hands of Soul from the Steve Miller Band, 26 years? 27. 20, oh, 27 years. 27. I don't miss a year. Yeah, Steve and uh, Miller Band right here, ladies and gentlemen. On the bass guitar, y'all, the baddest bass man this planet has to offer. How many Grammys he got? And he bro? just, he got, he got five more than me. He got five more five Grammys? More he got me. five more than me, too? <laughs> How many Grammys Future Man got with Baylor Flat? He, he got five more than me. He got five, too? Okay. Let's, let's have a big round of applause, y'all, for the best little brother a man can have and the baddest bass player this planet has to offer, Mr. Victor Lamont Wooten. And before we get done, we want to thank Jack Daniels for sponsoring all of this. Jack Daniels, I don't drink, but I'll buy you one. <laughs> yeah. When you're drinking liquor, you a lot more fun. I don't drink, but I'll buy you one. You know what I'm saying? We want to thank Jack Daniels. <laughs> we got, yeah, we want to thank Jack Daniels, and we want to thank the man that had the recipe for Jack Daniels. <laughs> we want to thank the music. The Music Venue Alliance of Nashville, we want to thank y'all. We want to thank most of all the people. Yeah. The people that support live music. Well, it's a lot of fun to play live music, but we can't make a living without people. Come on. Right. So we want to thank the people. Much Come more fun with the people. Much more fun. Yeah. yeah. That's right. What are we going to do, Victor? Hey, let's do a song I named after my, my wife, Holly. This is Holly Baba. All right. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs>
others. On the one, 11, eight. For listening tonight. With the Wooten Brothers from Nashville, Tennessee, yo. Reggie Wooten on the guitar. Taught me to play the keyboards. Taught my younger brother Victor to play the bass. So if Victor or me plays something you don't like, then uh you can blame it on him. <laughs> on the drums, y'all. My older other my other older brother. Let's have a big round of applause at home for Roy. Future man Woo Jam. My name is Joseph Allen Wooten, aka the hands of soul. That's my talented little brother Victor over there on the bass guitar. We're gonna take it home. Here we go.
you. Thanks so much for tuning in to Music City Bandwidth, presented by Jack Daniels, coming to you from Rudy's Jazz Room. And thanks for supporting our independent music scene in Nashville. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon.